My day started at 5 a.m. today and didn't stop until 9 p.m. So effectively, I had a 16-hour day. It was quite a brutal day. Uh, yeah, just just a lot to do and no stopping at all throughout the day to take any breaks or anything like that. Even now, it's already 9 p.m. and I am breaking my 9 to 5, 9 to 5 framework just to make this video. But it's okay. It's been a long day anyway, so what's another hour doing this? Hopefully I won't sleep too late today. On the other hand, I am halfway through my 30 day challenge, so that's something to be excited for. And I will honestly say that it has not been easy at all to do this on a consistent basis. Some days I struggle with what to talk about. And other days I struggle with a perfection syndrome, which is, oh, I have this cool topic that I want to talk about, but I don't think I can do it to the extent that I want to do it. So I'm not going to do it for now and push it off to later. And still yet, there are days when I wait until it's later into the evening before I start filming. To that point, I just start and say pretty much anything that I want off the top of my head, no script, and just kind of go for it. Such as today. I learned that posting videos on a daily basis and editing them and publishing them, doing all of those activities in one day, on a consistent basis, that is definitely not for the faint of heart. In fact, doing anything consistently is not for the faint of heart. It takes discipline and patience in order to persevere and stay consistent. Because you're not going to notice any interesting results while you are in the act of doing them. It's only as you look back on them in reflection and in retrospective and in hindsight that you start seeing patterns and trends and whatnot. In other words, it's not immediate. and doesn't correlate very well to instant gratification that we're so used to nowadays. And I can already talk about some things that I have already started to notice about myself. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at talking to <laughs> a camera. <laughs> there's no one there. There's no one there. Uh, well, there's no one behind this camera anyway. And I am talking to it like I'm talking to a regular person, which is nuts. And another thing is, I have been able to speak for longer periods of times without interruptions or without cutting myself, which results in easier edits for me, in the sense that I don't have to piece, you know, video A and video B together. Now I could just do, you know, one script, go A and B all the way, and that not only helps me save on editing time, but has also, hopefully, at least I like to think in my head, led me to become a better speaker or a better presenter in some kind of way. I hope that's the case at least. But yeah, small things like these are kind of cool that I'm starting to notice now that I definitely would not have noticed while I was doing them. Only now that I kind of look back and take a glimpse of the past 15 days or so, I think, hey, that's actually kind of cool. And this gives me hope in the sense that if I continue to persevere, you know, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll get even better, hopefully, and uh, improve in other ways as well. So yeah, that's all I have today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you liked this video, please go ahead and smash that like button, and consider subscribing as well. If you have any comments, feel free to leave it down below, and I will see you next time.